What's going on everybody? It's your boy Teflon John coming to you courtesy of I Am Teflon John where my job is to inspire you where you are inspired. Today's video is called How to Deal with Being Single. Now this is a very, I, I, I would say, very touchy subject um, cause, because a lot of people are single now and they are maybe talking to someone or maybe they're with someone. So you're not really single, but then, then the question is if you're not married and dating, is that considered single? Well, I would say when it comes to paperwork and filing taxes, yes, if you're dating someone, you're not married, that's single. But if you are connected to anyone, if you are, you know, having sex with anyone, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if you have the title, I would say you're not single. But this video is for truly single people who are by themselves. One of the benefits to being single is you can do what you want to do. You can go as you want to go, you know what I'm saying? Come as you want to come. But I would say that you being single and out of relationship, those who want to be and desire to be in a relationship, take this time to focus on you. You know, work a lot of overtime, you know, save money, go to school, work on some projects. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're in a relationship, now you have to balance time between work, what you want to do in life and what somebody else would like to do and spending time with them. Because if you're so busy, your relationship won't last and then you'll be single again. So a lot of times that you have a lot of these things that you want to do, but maybe God has really left you alone so you can kind of accomplish things that you should be getting done. Like I said, when it comes to overtime or you may have some, some goals or long-term goals that you really need financially, you need some finances. So what you can do is while you're single, use this time to work, work a lot of overtime, grind, you know what I'm saying? Use this time to go back to school, study, finish a couple courses, you know? So that way, if, if this thing ever goes anywhere, you need to move out or get a new place, or if you get married, now you have a, what you call a career or working towards your career because of school and bringing in a lot of finances. Um, I would also say one thing with being single is take time to find yourself. Take time to know yourself. I know a lot of times, especially with women, maybe men too, we seem to be attracted to what's not good for us. So a lot of times, you know, something's sexy or something's hot or, you know, someone looks good, but the way that they carry themselves, you, you know they're a dog or you know a homegirl gets around, but for some reason we try to engage in that and I guess subconsciously we feel like we can change this person and now when we get into a relationship and we fall too deep emotionally, now we become emotionally compromised because now we feel like, oh man, I love this person, but we become hurt when they do something with other women or other men. Here's the thing, you gotta know what you don't want when you go into a, a relationship. So being single is the best time to kind of come up with what you don't want, come up with what you want out of a person because when you're in a relationship, it's too late to decide. You know what I'm saying? So take your time, pump the brakes, slow down and get to know yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take this time out to get, um, do some things that you would like to do, but also get to really know who you are in a relationship. Is it things you need to work on? You know, is it, I need to change the people that I'm attracted to? I need to change the people that I'm hanging around? Because if you're single and you're hanging around other single friends, right? And let's say you got some loose friends, they just out, they party, they club every weekend. You're going to attract those kind of guys. You're going to attract those kind of women because you're in that environment. Nine times out of ten, if you go out to a club and meet somebody, that's the kind of lifestyle that they're going to live. They're not going to be the ones that be at home and want to spend time with you because this is where you met them. So sometimes you got to gather around and get into a new group or get into a new circle when it comes to finding a man. You're not going to, it's not, the best situation is trying to find someone in the environment you would like for them to, to be. So if you want someone smart, it's best to find them in that type of environment, whether it be work, whether it be school. But if you meet somebody at a bar or club and this is what they do every weekend, don't expect to date them and that to change overnight. And now you're complaining because they're not spending time with you. You knew this when you met them. So think about the environment that you're meeting these people. But another thing on how to deal with being single is stay busy, spend time with your family. Find a new hobby. Like I said, school is very important. Work, save up money, but you know, go visit, go travel. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things that, that you can do. And I know sometimes it feels like, or some people feel like I have to be with someone. Learn how to be with yourself before you're with someone else. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times relationships don't work because we haven't figured out who we are in the relationship. 
You know what I'm saying? So figure out what you want, figure out what you don't want, figure out what you like and don't like. And then you set standards and hold people to that. But the whole time you're single, these are things that you could be working with, but how you deal with it, you have friends, you know what I'm saying? Now some of your friends, if they're not single, don't expect for them to be available all the time because then you'll make them eventually single, pulling them away all the time. Um, so look, take time, do what you do, find a hobby, and just find, spend time and working on you. Find out who you are. Start loving yourself. And then prayerfully when you meet Mr. Right or Mrs. Right, you'll be right for them. And if you like that content, please click the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this information to everyone. And as I always say, one love, be blessed.